Look, call me old-fashioned, but I thought the idea of governments was to take decisions to improve our lives, not to make them harder. But apparently the politicians of the Green Left aim to deliver the opposite. For instance, we all know about the housing crisis, the housing affordability challenge that's particularly confronting for young people. I mean, politicians know this hurts, right? The average income earner can't afford the average house in Sydney. So something's out of kilter in this city and it has dire economic consequences. This is a supply and demand problem in New South Wales and we are not doing enough to build new houses for young people in New South Wales. Yeah, it's especially crook in Sydney, but of course the other major capital cities have got problems too. So what does the New South Wales Labor government do in its first year in office, mind you? Well, they impose an additional tax, an infrastructure contribution charge, they call it, of $10,000 for every new unit built in the Greater Sydney and some other key areas. So, in other words, at the same time the government pretends to be worried about housing affordability, it's adding at least $10,000 to the cost of every new home. Didn't yes, he say no new taxes? Um, and, uh, Minister, and we, uh, can you answer approved. the question? Didn't he say no new taxes? Yeah, and this is not a tax, Ben. This is a contribution that's specifically <laughs> reserved for infrastructure <laughs> contribution. It's, it, well, if it was a tax, it wouldn't be done through the planning legislation. So, right? it, so, so, so it's not a tax. It's a contribution. It's a contribution. contribution. Yeah, infrastructure contributions are a well-known part of the development, uh, uh, of the development system. Ben Fordham on 2GB trying to get answers out of Paul Scully, the planning minister there. It makes you really wonder, doesn't it? As one local mayor pointed out, the same state government that hands out $7,000 to new home buyers then takes back at least $10,000 through another levy. Governments, as Ronald Reagan often pointed out, they are so often the problem rather than the solution.